am now going to welcome up Robert Scoble. He's going to come up and we're, well, he's Robert. We're going to talk about all sorts of stuff. Robert! Hey. How are you? What's going on? <laughs> Dave, he just moved the chair. What? He just moved the chair. Did you move the chair? Did, did I move the chair? And he comes on and he just messes everything up. Did I move the chair? I'm sorry. <laughs> just joking. We're just giving you a hard time. What's up? How's Blog World so far? It's been really interesting. I just saw a company that launched today. Um, uh, God, overblog.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm probably going to be moving my blog to it because I, I've changed my blog. You know, I've been blogging for 11 years on scoblizer.com. Oh, my God. And, 11 and I, years. I know. But the audiences have shifted to yes. the social networks. And I'm finding that I am enjoying being in Google Plus or Facebook mm -hmm. or Instagram uh, or other places. You know, the moment Twitter, Twitter got big, my comments on my website, woo! Yeah, because people want to chat with you there, Yes. Right? And that's it's more immediate. It's more fun. Yeah. So Overblog, well, Overblog lets you aggregate yeah. all those places that you're, partic that you're putting content in Pulls and brings it all into one, one uh, stream on your blog so that if, if people do come to your old style blog, they can find everything you're doing, yeah. whether it's on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Well, y y that's what you do is you talk to new, s new, new websites, yep. new startups, and um, find out some really interesting stuff going on. So what else have you well, seen? I was just at um, this a startup incubator called... Um, <laughs> it's where Bitly with beta works. Sorry, beta works. I, my brain just froze over. It, all, it happens it's, to all. No, of us. I wasn't getting drunk last night. <laughs> um, Wait, I, I, want, yeah, I didn't bring it call. up. Rocky, what? <laughs> yeah, Rocky's my producers in yeah, the front yeah. row giving me a heck. Um, so we, we we went to BetaWorks yesterday and uh, did like a, a little bit of a brainstorming. I said, well, what's this world of the Google Project Glass? These these wearable computers. <gasps> oh. are, are you are you excited about this too? I dream. Of, I, I literally dreamt about that, like meeting somebody who had one and getting to put it on. I'm such a geek, and it's horrible. Well, I, I, I met Sergey, and he was wearing them. I know, them, but he, I saw. He wouldn't let me put them on, but like Trey Ratcliffe then got Trey to put got them on. It. He yeah. emailed me. He was like, "Ha ha." Yeah. Like, Arr. but this world. So this world where we're going to look at things, and it's going to tell me stuff is really an interesting world. It's very interesting. And there's lots of little startups that are informing where the future is going. For instance, you know about Face.com, this iPhone app that you can aim at you. Oh, yeah. And it, it does face recognition. It tells mm -hmm. me who you are and then shows me your Facebook thing. Well, that could be in my glass right, right. now. I could be reading all about your la latest tweets and your latest Facebook yeah. messages because these these Google glasses are going to show me information while we're talking, right? You know, I met somebody who, who kind of kicked off this this whole phenomenon. It was years ago. Yep. Um, I, I'm blanking on his name. If you get a blank, I get a blank. Um, <laughs> but he was, I believe, MIT yep. researcher. Do you remember him? I don't I, I remember the name. I think you've talked to I, him before uh, as well. Yep. But he had that whole thing going on. He had one eye covered and he had a keyboard in his hand and he was just going at it. He, as soon as you tell him your name, he's Googling you and he's reading all about you. It's a little scary, that whole prospect. Yep. Do you but we're think both going to have it on. That's true. <laughs> and so you're going to be. Uh, so it doesn't matter. All and, privacy out the. And out by the, the window, way, huh? uh, because we're in the Facebook world, right? We can build wikis about people, mm -hmm. right? So, if I'm a freak, your glasses are going to say, "Hey, this, this Scoville guy's a freak. Get away from him." <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it'll be good, good and bad. You have to protect your social identity, just right, like you do right. in, in the modern world, right? Yeah, you know, I mean. It, uh, do you think that as a society that we're giving up privacy just a little bit at a time or a oh, yeah. lot at a time and it's going to bite us in the butt? Um, privacy is not what I'm worried about. I, you know, I, I, I think the companies are going to solve that because people want control of distribution of their information. You know, if I take a picture of my kids, maybe I don't want the public to see that. Right. I don't care. I, I, I everything on my Facebook page is private. Well, is you public. and I we're public. We live our lives publicly, but, but not a lot of people do. Not a lot of people do, and and but the companies are going to solve that because one, they're going to have to because they're going to get regulated. Facebook is clearly going to get regulated soon in the, in the future. Uh, two, they're going to want to do that to get more users because. There's lots of users who don't use Facebook. They don't feel comfortable right. using it. They don't, they don't 
trust it. They right. don't use words like, I trust this company. And they don't um, understand how it works. It's very complex. A lot of people don't even re realize that each piece of information has its own privacy uh, ab ability, its own uh, Content Settings, essentially, I mean. Well, yeah, I can decide, you know, oh, this, this piece of information on my feed will only get seen by my son, or this one will see, get seen by my friends, or this one will mm -hmm. get seen by the public. Right. And each time I post a photo or post a video or post a, a status message, I have control of that. Most people don't understand how to do that. It's complex. It's So how it's can we simplify it? Well, they're going to figure that out. You know, that's what companies do. They put people in, uh, you know, in... in um, eye tracking research and ask right. them to do something and, and see, oh, that's too hard to do. I mean, Microsoft did this all the time. They right. had row after row of these booths that people could watch, researchers could watch, mm -hmm. people actually try to do tasks and say, oh man, that's that's harder for people than we actually thought it was gonna be. Yeah. You know, because we're geeks, we can we can uh, deal with a we, lot of pain, but like my dad, no, can't. no. This is why, this, uh, why we both have iPads right now. These, these things are so beautiful and easy to deal with. <laughs> But even these are tough to deal with for a lot of people, right? Oh, yeah. So I think the privacy problem is going to get solved. Okay. Um, and we're going to trade our privacy to get benefits, right? By telling, There are a whole lot of benefits to there's it. There's a whole lot of benefits because Facebook is a media company. It's, it's bringing us media, not just ads. Everybody keys in on the ads. But it brings us media mm -hmm. based on who we are. For instance, I click like on the San Francisco 49ers, right. and now I'm getting 49ers news and pictures and videos. And I like that. I want to see news yeah. and info from the San Francisco 49ers. You know, and I've never had a problem with, like, Google. There was this whole thing earlier where, you know, it's targeted ads. How dare people target ads to me? Well, to be honest, I don't want to see an ad or any information that isn't targeted to me because yeah. it's just a waste of my time. So I don't mind stuff like that at all. But this is way be beyond ads. It's I, I, yeah, I realize that. I'm just saying, but, it, but uh, yeah. yeah. Even, even if I like the, okay, so do most people, are they okay if I like the San Francisco 49ers? Maybe an outline related company. Are people going to be okay with getting ad, or not ads, but like posts about those outlying companies well, if they don't know, opt in? It, now Facebook knows I'm a football fan, right? So it could bring me ads about you know beer or uh, products, jerseys right. that are, are uh, associated with football. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on here. What you tell Facebook about who you are increases the not just the ads, but everything on the page everything, that you're seeing. all the content. So where we're going with this is privacy. We're going to trade our privacy because mm -hmm. in the old world, we didn't tell anybody we were. That's right. freaky to tell <laughs> a system that I'm into the 49ers or that I'm a Democrat yeah. or that I'm religious or not. I mean, Facebook knows all this and mm -hmm. is asking me to give it all that data so it can serve me better. I think the deeper problem is addiction. Um, I'm not, I can, I can stop at any time. <laughs> and we're hitting, uh, we're hitting real deep problems with addiction. Text, texting and driving, for instance. So Rocky and I argue about this all the time. I can't, I like to do things on my phone while I'm driving. Right. Now, some of it's legitimate, like using an app like Waze to see the traffic. Yes. But some of it's not, you know, texting uh, somebody on Facebook or yeah. looking at something. You know, that's dangerous behavior and it kills people. This is very anti-behavior. Right. Uh, but that is up to the person, to the individual, to stop themselves. No. There are some, well, there are some companies that are, you know, well, like, for example, parents can uh, put something in the car to stop all text messages from coming through or voice well, Waze, calls or anything Waze, like that. Waze, for instance, is a traffic map, a crowdsourced map, traffic map. And when you're actually moving... Uh -huh. It turns off a lot of the features and doesn't let you text and, and chat and stuff like that. So it knows that you're actually driving right. and it tri tries to turn that off. Now you can override it and they give you, an, you know, you, you can lie and say I'm a passenger and still, yeah. and still uh, behave that way. But this is a, a, deeper, a deep problem. Um, I, I know a few psychologists who are dealing with uh, marriages and they're seeing a real sharp increase in, in marriage counseling because people are looking at their iPads all day long, all night long, 
and not paying attention to each other, you know? <laughs> Sit down for dinner, you're at your iPad instead of talking to each other. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, this is a very powerful thing. When you, when you tune Facebook and you yeah. have all your family, your friends, and all the media that you want in the world, you know, I, li- I liked all these sort of bands, right? I have 300 bands that I've liked Whoa. on Facebook. So my music is coming in there, and I get to see what you're listening to on Spotify. So right. now, oh, Kelly Lewis is listening to, you know, Bieber on Spotify. Oh, I got to really? go check that out. Really? <laughs> I don't know what That's you listen to. That's not from my actual stream. <laughs> Nothing against Bieber at all, but... <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> uh, but th- this is an addictive thing all night long. People are playing games. Yeah. L- yesterday, airtime released, right? So now I can pull this up and start video chatting with right. random everyday people, you know, and start talking to people. And, wow, that, I'm getting addicted more and more and more to this thing because it's bringing me things I like and want, want to interact with. Yeah. Right, but it's not just technology. As, as is your point, just to clarify a little bit, we're not getting addicted to technology. We're actually getting addicted to people. We're getting addicted to the conversation, yeah, but to the emotional here's connection. Here's one people. Here I have 3,000 so, people you, here. Uh, so, <laughs> and this is the problem. I'm, you're now competing with 3,000 people who are bringing me stuff on this screen. Right? And yeah. it's, it's so like, I, I, we're so seeing this happen at dinner, right? When we're yeah. out to dinner, we're like, oh, let's check Facebook real fast. A group you know? of geeks will all be on their devices all at once. And now they make devices to charge your phone while you're at dinner so that you can have multiple devices charging at once so that everybody can continue to be I, on their phones. <laughs> I, have, I have three Mophie packs yeah. just to make sure I never end up, uh, end up uh, end three. run out of battery. <laughs> <laughs> We're addicted, baby. We are. <laughs> I can stop at any time, though. <laughs> and unfortunately, I do have to stop See? with you. <laughs> I love talking to you. You just wanted to check your Facebook. I know you. I know. I know. I'm waiting for you to leave so I can do something over here. (laughs) You guys can check all his stuff out at Scobalizer. Give every plug that you can within 30 seconds. Go. Uh, (laughs) You named it, Scobalizer. I go around the world and interview tech startups and uh, put those videos up on my YouTube channel. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you're you pretty know, much if I get one everywhere, percent of your of your followers, I'll oh, get I'll be please. set for life. <laughs> oh, so I think you're beating me out on Google Plus, aren't you? <laughs> not on not on YouTube, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Great so much. Great to see you. Thanks. I'll chat with you later. Enjoy Vlog World.